Hey friend, welcome back to the Bridget Marie Energy Design channel. I'm Bridget. If you are a current subscriber, thanks so much for coming back and checking out this video. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love it. It'd be super cool if you'd stick around for a little while, subscribe and check out some other videos. Today we're taking a look into how Notion has impacted my day-to-day -day workflow as a human with ADHD and as a business owner. Let's get into it. Before using Notion for task management, I used paper planners, which I realized honestly to an ADHD perfectionist felt kind of like a nightmare. I don't think I realized that at the time, but like looking back now, it makes a lot of sense. I didn't know how to plan out what I wanted or needed to do and I honestly didn't even know what I needed to do in the first place. I wasn't writing down specific tasks. I would write down really vague things like work on my business, which is just a misguided directionless gigantic project masquerading as a task um so no wonder i wasn't really getting anywhere i didn't know how to know what i needed to do and to know how to break it down and put it into a weekly plan i also felt like writing things down on paper felt so permanent to me so i would have to make sure that i was writing everything down in pencil so I could erase it and rewrite it on another day if I needed to move things around. But that really just felt like such a huge hassle to me that I just like wouldn't even do it. And so I would maybe do this process for some weeks and then I would fall off of it because ultimately it just felt like too much work and it gave me too much anxiety and it really just wasn't serving me. Now in Notion, I have specific tasks. And these tasks are related to projects, they're related to goals, so I know what I'm working towards. And I talk a little bit more about how these are all connected and structured, these databases, in my top level productivity system in Notion video. So if you wanna check out more about the backend structure of my entire system, check that out. I also have a process for scheduling out my tasks at the beginning of the week, which I call my Monday Hour One or MHO, which you'll see on my dashboard. It's my weekly planning session, and I have my tasks set up as a Kanban board by the days of the week. So it makes it really easy for me to drag and drop, rearrange, schedule and reschedule tasks. I don't have to worry anymore about having to erase something or something feeling so permanent because in Notion, it's just really easy to move things around and that makes it feel more, it feels like I have more freedom and ease to just flow and to do things in whatever way they end up working out or not working out and I need to change them around. So I really like having that functionality at this point in my business, I've been experimenting and paying attention to my energy levels so that I have a much better idea of what types of tasks I like to do on certain days of the week or certain times of the day. So over time, it's gotten a lot easier for me to schedule out these tasks and to make a weekly or even just a daily schedule. I know that at the beginning, it was more challenging for me to figure out how to schedule these things out, but just being able to look at it as a that beginner's mindset and just allowing myself to try it out and see what works, over time it just kind of naturally came together as I let go of control <laughs> and allowed more ease in the process. I also had to go through the full grief cycle when I got diagnosed with ADHD. So finally getting to that acceptance part about how having some sort of structure or schedule is absolutely essential for me, even if it is what I wanna reject with my whole full being, but I honestly just can't operate without it. 
And I really had to allow myself to experiment to find out what kind of structure and schedule work for me and to be able to accept that that might look completely different to other people and it might look completely different to how I've been trying to live my life up until that point. And coming to that acceptance has just been hugely transformative to me. The first thing that I do when I get to work after doing my opening ritual is to open Notion. I take a quick peek at my inbox to see if anything in there is marked as urgent. I use the cute little urgent alert emoji. And I also want to do give a little caveat to the word urgent. I don't operate under the guise that anything is urgent. I'm not an ER doctor. I'm not saving lives here. So the way that I use the term urgent is more of maybe this is something that I popped in my inbox um, and it's something that I want to get to today or I know that I want to get to it this week. So by putting that little alert emoji on it, I know that at a glance, when I take a peek at my inbox, that's something that I'm going to want to drag down into my weekly task view so that I can make sure that I do it this week. So after I take a peek at my inbox, I then scroll down to my Monday hour one weekly task view and see what I've got on the dock for the day. And then I can get to work. When I open up a task, I either have the relevant info I need inside that page to be able to complete the task, or I have it mentioning another page in my Holy Grail HQ system to be able to help me get that task done. So then I would then go to that other page to have all of the information and everything that I need to do to complete my task. For example, I have a bookkeeping task that I do every month. It's the same exact page task that I reschedule every month and inside of it I have a synced block view of my bookkeeping SOP process that's in my SOP database in my system and I have it pasted right into that task so it's super easy for me to open up the task and have everything in there that I need. It's got all my links, it's got the exact step-by-step -step process I need to do all of that because there is no way in the world I would ever remember any of those steps or any of the links that I need to go. It's just, it's so nice to just have it all exactly where I need it. Another example is if the task is for something like a piece of content I'm making, like a YouTube video, that's when I'll usually put a link to the corresponding piece of content that lives within my content dashboard. So I'll just mention that page in there. So then uh, when I open up the task, I can click right on that page link and it'll take me to the piece of content where I've dumped all of the information for that. When I'm done with a task, instead of just marking it complete, calling it a day, I make sure that I check in to determine what's the next step. So maybe this specific task, like my bookkeeping task is recurring. So it happens every month. And I also like to mark in the task the, um, the interval with which I do the task so I can remember, um, okay, once I'm done with this task, I schedule it out for a month from now, for example. So I make sure that when I've completed it, I go ahead and reschedule it out so that next time I need to do it, it already pops up in my Monday Hour One weekly planning when I need to do it again. So I don't have to then remember to have to schedule it, reschedule it again when it needs to come up. I just go ahead and do it as soon as I complete it so that I know that um, it's just gonna be there when I need it. And sometimes for some tasks, if they're not super regularly recurring, I will do that process of rescheduling it out and then I'll also go ahead and put a date reminder alert in there so that that way I it's kind of like a, a double check just in case and then Notion will give me that alert um, that reminder on that day that I told it to so kind of like <laughs> just in case I do that with some tasks. If the task isn't a recurring task I'll then ask myself if there are any additional tasks that I need to do now that I've completed this step of the task. Because sometimes when I start working on something, 
I'll realize there are more things that I need to do to complete the overall thing. Um, for example, working on a YouTube video is not just make a YouTube video. There's a lot that goes into it from writing out the script, making titles, making cover art, editing the videos and so on and so forth. So I'll need different tasks that tell me each of those things. And sometimes something else comes up that I'm like, oh, I need to do this task as well to help me finish it. Once I finish one part of that task, if I need to do something else, I'll go ahead and schedule that out as well so that I make sure that I keep staying on track with finishing the thing. <laughs> now I'm able to write tasks down so that I don't forget them, assign tasks to projects so that they stay organized and schedule them out in a way that makes sense for me and so that I can actually get them done. I'd love to hear how Notion has made your daily workflow easier. Leave me a comment below and let me know. And if you're looking for a system to help you run your intuitive business or creative projects, check out my Holy Grail HQ Notion template at the link below. I also offer one-on-one -on -one system customization to integrate the HQ into what you've already got and to tailor it to you and your beautiful brain. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next one.